a little tiny, maybe <laughs> small update on the high wing. And if yeah. we're going to be able to see it in July. Oh, you'll see it in July. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're continuing to work on it. It's a lot of little finicky detail stuff at this point. Um, you know, uh, control system bell cranks are going in. Um, you know, we're getting ready to do the rudder cables. Um, the outboard wing spars are all riveted up now. We're making ribs and skins and starting to skin the outboard wings. Um uh, we are working on, as I think I mentioned this the last time we talked, we're continuing working on the windshield, which is requiring some new tooling um, to make to make that windshield shape. So um, we have to make a modification to our plexiglass oven and things like that. But it is moving forward. Um, I, you haven't really seen anything from us uh, since Air Venture because... Uh, we're waiting until we get something that is um, really impressive in pictures in terms of, you know, really obvious visual changes to the airplane. Mark, at this uh, point, if you were to sell us, uh, make available a kit for a pedal car version of it, I think that you would sell them. So, uh, yeah, right. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, pedal plane. Sorry. Pedal yeah. plane. Yeah, we got doors designed now. Uh, we're waiting to get the hinge, you know, we'll get the hinges out from machining. Um, so there's all kinds of really cool stuff. And, um, you know, we'd really like to get an update out to the website, um, maybe before year end. Um, it just, it always seems to, um, you know, when you work in these detail areas of the, of the, of the prototype, um, it just seems like it takes a really long time before you get something that's a wow, big, impressive change from the last time we showed a picture of the of the prototype. So there are changes. The engines hung on the motor mount, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. We finally got the fiberglass tail tips from the fiberglass molder. They finally finished the molds and, um, you know, just all of that little stuff that um, it, it, you got to do when you're designing a brand new airplane. Well, maybe you can do kind of what Vans, I don't want to say unofficially, officially, I think this is how it happened, leak some photos out there and then like, Oh, I guess we got to tell everybody what happened with it now. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get something out there. We'll get something. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for joining us today. I just want to pop in real quick and invite you all to our 31 day build challenge, which starts in December, December 1st through the 31st, which is why the 31 days every day is an opportunity to get something done on your aircraft. Even if it's something very small, like reading plans or setting out something for the next day, the idea is everybody has their end of year, New Year's resolution, and this is kind of a way to get started very early in December. And amongst other builders, they're doing the same thing. So I invite you to, to uh, post some, we prefer video, uh, but definitely photos of what you got going on in your hangar or your home workshop or even at your kitchen counter. Share with everybody what you got going on on the Experimental Aircraft Channel group. That's on Facebook. Just search Experimental Aircraft Channel and groups that should pop right up and join us for the 31 day build challenge. And also let's take a moment right now to thank our sponsors. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. Thank you to our patrons over on Patreon and 10TED10 in our co-pilot status. If you feel like supporting us, check us out on Patreon.com. And if you are new here, welcome. You are invited right now to subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode.